One, two, three. Sorry, Maggie. I scared Maggie. <laughs> hey there, everyone. It's Moose, and thank you so much for joining me back here. Today, we are going to do the Leap Year book tag. So I was tagged by Danny over at Spinelli Speaks. She is super sweet, super nice. She does all kinds of different kind of videos. She does do book videos a lot, um, but she also incorporates stuff like cooking and stuff like that into her videos as well, if you're interested. She's also very chill in her videos. She's the type of booktuber who you can tell is passionate about what she's talking about and what she's saying and what she's reading, but she's not overbearing. You know, she's not yelling in your face and she's not like too hyper. So it's kind of refreshing a little bit. And I also think that she's really active on Bookstagram too. So if you're interested in either of those, be sure to check her out. So I know this video might be a little late considering Leap Day has already happened. February 29th is good and gone. But I thought it would still be fun to do this tag since she did tag me. So we're just going to jump right into it. Question number one is an extra day. What's a book that brought something a little extra? For this question, I chose Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I read this book last year. It was one of my favorite reads of the year. And to me, the, the format of the text really adds something to it. It's extra that doesn't necessarily need to be there but I think it really adds to the reading experience. A lot of people listen to this on audiobook and I've heard that it's amazing on audiobook, but I read the physical copy of it. And for those of you that don't know, this book is kind of made up of like files and audio clips that have been transcribed. And I mean, you can just see that it's just, I don't know. It's just, the format is so cool. And I really felt that added to the book. Question number two is taking a big leap. What is one book that you are or were afraid to read? For this one, I chose The Lord of the Rings. All three of the books are in here. Um, I read this book in middle school, I think. And even back then, I was afraid to read it. It was way above my reading level. Absolutely, I'm not ashamed to admit that. To the point where I don't think I really enjoyed it as much as I would if I were to read it now. It is on my to reread list. It's not very high just because I am a little intimidated by it. The writing style is so detailed that you kind of get lost um, a little bit. The story kind of gets lost in all the details in my opinion, but I do love the movies. I grew up on the movies. They were some of my favorite movies to watch with my dad. Since then I've made Ethan watch all of them and he really enjoyed them. And so I really do want to reread the books. I'm just a little intimidated. <laughs> Question number three is every four years, what is the fourth book that you read this year? This question is a little tricky because I haven't actually read four books this year. I am super slacking, but I have started my fourth book of the year. And that fourth book is The Bad Beginning. It is the first book in the series of unfortunate events. This is kind of my way of participating in middle grade March. I'm not following all the prompts or anything like that. I'm just reading middle grade books. And my goal is to read some of this series. I've been wanting to reread this series for a while now. I bought the box set or had my mom buy the box set for me back in high school. So this is my opportunity to reread them. And so far so good. Question number four is 366 days in a year, third shelf, the third shelf is my TBR shelf, so I probably haven't read either of these books. Um, third shelf, name the sixth book on that shelf and the sixth one after that. So the sixth book on my third shelf is Now I Rise by Kirsten White. I think this is the second book in the And I Darken series. It's a YA series. I know I'm interested in this book, so this is one of those deals where I bought it <laughs> for cheap from Ollie's. Yeah, $1.99 from Ollie's. Cause I knew I wanted to read the series eventually. So the sixth book after that is The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane. This is a classic. I feel like most people have heard about this book. I haven't read it yet, which is why it's on my TBR shelf. So, but it is the sixth book after that. Okay, question number five is Leaping Ahead. Name four books that you want to read by the next leap year or name something on your bookish bucket list that you want to complete by the next leap year. So for this question, I did choose four books that I want to read. The first three are the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. This is one of my favorite series. This was really influential in getting me really into reading. I read this in middle school, which is when I feel like I really started reading a lot, a lot. I've read since a very young age. 
But as far as reading for pleasure, this was one of the series that really got me into it. And I know that Ethan wants to read through these as well. So my goal before the next leap year, hopefully within the next four years, my goodness, is we'll read these together. And then along with that, I do want to read The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I know that I will enjoy this book. I love Christian symbolism and all that kind of stuff, and I know that this book is based on a bunch of that kind of stuff. It's just so big that <laughs> it's really going to be a big commitment whenever I do go to read it. Quite frankly, my life has been so busy since I acquired this book that I just haven't had time between school and then after school I moved down here and then now I'm pregnant and I'm getting ready to have a baby and I know that I'm not gonna have time to dedicate to this. So hopefully by the next four years I'll have this finished. Question number six is Leapfrog. Name a book on your shelf that has green on it. I actually have a lot of books with green on them. I am going to make a video on it actually. But the book I chose for this prompt is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I also really enjoyed the series when I read it. I think I read this series in high school and it's another series that I would really like to reread because I forgot a lot of what happened but I know that the concept's cool and I remember being really intrigued by it so I would really like to reread this. Question number seven is bad luck. What bookish things do you steer clear from? So my answer is kind of similar to Danny's answer from Spinelli Speaks. I really don't like covers with people on them. Her answer was a little different. She said she doesn't like movie covers, um, but in my experience, most of the movie covers also have people on them as well. So I just don't like the way that that looks. I think it looks a little tacky in my opinion, and it really throws me off, even if it's a good story. I just, I don't know, something about the cover having an actual person on it makes me not want to read it. Otherwise, I'm pretty open. I don't really care for contemporary books, but they're not one of those things that I stay clear of. Some of them can be enjoyable, but I really don't like people on the cover of books. Question number eight is tag four friends. I'm not gonna tag anybody. I've explained this before. I don't really like tagging people. I don't want people to feel pressured to do the tag if they don't really want to or anything like that. I enjoy being tagged and stuff. I enjoy, you know, that community aspect of booktube, but I definitely understand that sometimes you just don't feel like doing it. So if you feel like doing this tag, go for it. It was really fun. Thank you to Danny for tagging me. I really appreciate it. Go check her out. Again, I will link her down below. Thank you guys for watching. You are awesome. I am thankful for you and we'll be back here next time. See ya! For this question, I chose Illuminae by 